Oh, hey guys. <laughs> ticklish is, this is Terrace Ticklish. He's, he's doing much better. I wanted to thank you for your prayers. Um, however, <laughs> I did leave an update in the community post, but um, I need to get straight to this here because it's pretty uh, incredible news here. What I am finding here, and welcome everybody to another edition of Blue Heaven Watching for the Lord who is coming soon. Now, um, I hope you guys are doing well. I am, I am letting you know that I have found that as we're watching for the Lord, we have about, I don't know, at least a handful of things that are all lining up and pointing to a rapture within a week, okay? Now, am I prophesying? That says the Lord, no. However, there are some things that the Lord has said to me and many other people, and if you put them all together, they all are fitting into the same timeline. Now, I was praying this morning and I said, Lord, you know, 2022 ends in um, March 23rd uh, or 22nd, really. Um, you know, this, 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 and this are lining up to you coming back then, by then, by the, before then. Um, now, as those of us who've been watching for a while, you know, you can get to a point where you're so used to seeing a high watch and nothing happens. You have to fight against thinking, just almost expecting nothing to happen. So I said, come here, bunny, come here, bunny. I don't know if he's making loud noises on the floor. Okay, so, um, come here, cutie. Come here, bunny. Lie down, okay? Can you lie down a minute? Say hi. Yes, you're a cute boy. Yes, you're a cute boy. Okay, so, um, oh, cutest thing on earth. Um, so, distracted by the cutest thing on earth. What am I saying here? Um, okay, so yeah, I said, Lord, you know, um, I, I want to believe what, what I see here. I want to believe what, what I've seen, what you're showing, what the Bible points to. <clears throat> and I said, I know what you, what you really want. You want me to have faith, faith that you're coming. Like I believe you are. If I believe it, he wants me to have faith. Okay. So within a month, within a, um, a month, within a minute, I got it. I, I got an email from a sister who said, watch this post. Look at this post. And it was a post. Now, I, I almost never see community posts. Like, they don't show up. Okay, I don't. So if I hadn't been told to look at it, I would have never seen it. Um, anyway, so his sister, Hope Owens, was writing on her post that she had had a dream last, you know, last night. And she saw a man's face in the dream. And they were, they were getting people ready warning them, you know, the rapture soon. And um, so she had never seen him before that she remembers. <clears throat> and, but, so anyway, so she, after she has this dream, somebody sent her a video of him, the same face in her dream. But the Lord specifically sent me March 23rd. And it had a dark cloud around it. You know how iPhones have like the weather, you know, pops up. 
it tells you like how the you know forecast gonna be for the day. That's what I seen. And it said at the bottom, rapture warning with an exclamation point, like a warning sign. So you guys, I woke up instantly to confirm that was from God, you know, because we don't know the day or the hour. But God sent me to Genesis chapter 6 and 7. When it talks about the days of Noah, when God had told Noah the day he was going to flood the earth. So he was telling Noah and his family to get prepared, to get ready, to start building that ark. So when God was going to send that flood, Noah and his family was going to be prepared. So the day God told Noah to build the ark, they went in the ark, Right? So, before anybody call me a false prophet, God literally told Noah when he was going to flood the earth, right? So, God sent me that dream. He sent me March 23rd. It said rapture warning at the Bible. So, I don't know if the rapture is going to happen that day. If something major, catastrophe is going to happen. But all I know, that's what God showed me. And he was saying that the Lord showed him <clears throat> that something something major is going to happen. He saw the earth with red around it, meaning tribulation, and he saw March 23rd. And so it was the same phase that she dreamt of hours before that. That's the Lord pouring out his spirit upon sons and daughters and showing them prophetic things. So the other thing, I'm going to tell you everything that's fitting together, okay? But I also want to tell you that I, two days ago, out of the blue, I heard the word Shinar, just dropped in my spirit, Shinar, okay? So it's south in, of Mesopotamia and... It is connected to the whole uh, Babylon story when the children of Israel were sent to Babylon for 70 years. So then last night, I'm looking at Jeremiah and um, suddenly I hear him say that the for 23 years, He's been prophesying to the children of Israel that if they don't turn from their evil ways, they will be taken to Babylon for 70 years. So this is 23, Jeremiah 25, verse 3. For 23 years from the 13th year of Josiah, king of Ammon, king of Judah, until this very day, the word of the Lord has come to me, and I have spoken to you again and again, but you have not listened. Although the Lord has sent all his servants and prophets to you again and again, you have not listened or paid attention. They said, turn now each of you from your evil ways and your evil practices, and you can stay in the land the Lord gave to you and your ancestors forever and ever. Verse 7, but you did not listen to me, declares the Lord, and you have aroused my anger with what your hands have made, and you have brought harm to yourselves. Therefore, the Lord Almighty says this, because you have not listened to my words, I will summon all the peoples of the north and my servant Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, declares the Lord, and I will bring them against this land and its inhabitants and against all the surrounding nations. I will completely destroy them and make them an object of horror and scorn and an everlasting ruin. I will banish from them the sounds of joy and gladness, the voices of bride and bridegroom, the sound of millstones and the light of the lamp. Now this reference here, the voice of the bride and bridegroom shall be no more is also found in the book of Revelation. 
I think chapter 18. Three years. 23. The year will be 2023 come the new moon on March 22nd. Unless it's spotted on the 23rd. We're talking 2023. Israel is about to be judged and go into the 70th week of Daniel for seven years. And so we have this parallel of, you know, Israel going into Babylon for 70 years on the 23rd year. And now we have in the 23rd year, the Lord is going to send the Israel state of Israel into a 70th week of Daniel, seven years type of Babylon. I believe that it is starting when this new year kicks off in March 23rd. It's lining up to all of the timelines we've looked at, um, the fig tree generation, you know, etc. And so some of the other things that are pointing to this happening you know, you know, I talked about the crown 22, right? I believe it means we get in our crowns in the year 2022. Um, it's the last chapter in the book of Revelation, but there's also like an enormous amount of information in the Bible pointing to 2022 rapture. And Pastor Sandy has done extraordinary studies on this subject that I have been watching, the Lord has led me to study them. <clears throat> and um, it's it's phenomenal. I know some of you have been watching him. Um, not saying that I agree with everything. Okay, I don't want people to argue about doctrine in the comments. Okay, we don't have any time left. God will sort things out. He knows everybody. Yes, I believe we're saved by grace through faith alone, not adding our own works on any level. Um, uh, yet at the same time, um, I, God has to told me and confirmed many times that what he is showing people, teaching people from the Hebrew in the Bible <clears throat> points to this year. All right, something else I want to mention is <clears throat> Kim Fisher. A uh, long time ago, she heard, she had a dream and she heard Trump say 15, 16, 17, 18, and then he yelled 19. Well, she'd been trying to figure out what that means for a while now. <clears throat> and today, I really believe that I know what it means. I was listening to Sister Lisa Boyce from Watch Woman 65, um, <clears throat> who's doing awesome reporting on the war right now and the banking situation. Um, and she said that Iran, Russia, and China are going to be starting drills from the 15th through the 19th. Now, if you look at the tensions right now of the war situation, it is easy to see something breaking out. Now, if it were to happen on the 19th where Kim heard him yell 19, and I believe um, probably it was Trump because God was pointing to the trumpet, the trumpet of God that will sound at the time of the rapture. So we have, we have that, which I've, is extraordinary. And, and also Lisa was saying that, you know, Putin has said that if 
we if he sees NATO troops in Ukraine, he's going to wipe England off the map now. Okay, so things are getting really heated. And then on top of that, Russia just took down a U.S. drone in the Baltic Sea. Okay, uh, that's, that's the type of little act of war that could blow the whole thing up quickly. Now, you see tribulations about to start with the banking collapsing. <clears throat> and, of course, they want to get rid of the small banks to have everyone go to the big banks so then they can ultimately turn everything into a digital uh, you know, technology thing that will go right into your right hand or forehead, according to Revelation 13. So you cannot buy or sell if you don't take the mark of the beast, which is what this is all leading to. Um, now, um, i trying to think. I have, there's a lot of things that... I'm going to, I'm going to pause this and check my list here. Okay. So, um, here's the other thing that fits into this timeline between now and the 23rd. I also had that dream where I, I knew the Lord was in the back of a restaurant and I saw this, this table and had a napkin on it and it, and it was folded. And then I saw the number 18. So folded napkin means I'm coming back. So, on the 18th, you know, the next day is the 19th, which could be the blast. And that leads you to the equinox on the 20th, which is also a, a big day to watch for. And the equal lux is on the 17th, which I will get to in a minute. Skull and Bones is on 322. That's another big day for something to happen. Um, and then, of course, you have 21, the 21st could be the 21 zero America. All of this is all all of this is this week. Um, also, I got Sister Darla. She years ago had a dream. She was getting ready for something really important. And uh, and, and she and she, there's like no time left. And she yelled, it's the 16th. It's the 16th. So we have that. And then on the 17th that she pointed out is the time when you have the equal day of hours, uh, the equal hours in the day and in the night, which is 12. And Jesus said in Lazarus 11, when, uh, I mean, in John 11, when Lazarus died and Martha and Mary wanted him to come and heal him before he died, but then he died. And then but Jesus came and obviously rose him from the dead. Well, that's a type and shadow of type. The, uh, the dead in Christ shall rise first. So in that chapter, he says, when they say, well, you know, why do you want to go there when, you know, the, there's not, you know, I forget exactly what they said, but he said, um, his disciples were asking the question. He said, aren't there not 12 hours in a day? And so you look at that and you think, well, is that a hint? <clears throat> it sounds to me like a hint of not only when he rose Lazarus from the dead, but when he might be raising the dead in Christ from the dead and then those who are alive and remain those who me and you those of you who believe in christ shall be uh gosh, shall be raised up to meet them in the clouds and be in the, meet the lord in the air forever and thus shall we ever be with the lord uh thessalonians 4 16 okay and there's your 16 again and four it means dalet door um that's another possible con connection there. <clears throat> um, and also you have the number 23 in, uh, in, in the Hebrew means my father, ha my father has gathered. My father has gathered. The gathering, my father has gathered the bride of Christ. And guess what it means in the Greek?
It means greatly afflicted. Well, at the time that the father is going to gather his people, his true believers, um, there's going to be nothing but great affliction left on the earth. Seven years of tribulation. And look at Psalm 23. He shall lay me, I shall lie down besides, on, I shall lie down in green pastures and be led forth beside still waters, a type, a type of total peace, restoration at the time of the rapture when you receive your glorified body. Um, so I wanted to give you that for now and um, I will um, add something to this. So here's some footage on the drone that was taken down by Russia the other day. Um, so bottom line is that the, the, the things that surround us at a time like this is just more evidence that the seven year tribulation is about to start and the rapture is about to take place. So I would encourage everyone to, first of all, get saved if you're not, by believing in the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came to the earth, crucified on a cross, died, was buried, and rose on the third day and shed his blood for our sins, for your sin and my sin, if we would believe that. The Bible says if we believe that for ourselves we will be given the gift of eternal life and that's by grace through faith you're saved not of yourself lest any man should boast with that said uh what we should really focus on is the relationship we have with jesus christ of course as a born again believer filled with the holy spirit sin now goes against our nature and it wars with our spirit, the flesh and the spirit war against each other, the Bible says. Sin will lose its joy, really. And uh, so the point really is that God loves you and wants a relationship with you. It's not just to go inherit some things in heaven. It's it's all about him. It's all about his love for you. Uh, he created you. He designed you perfectly. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. He knows every detail about you. And no one can love you like him. And that's why if you don't know him, you know, you need to find him yourself. This is what happens after you get saved. This is what it's really about. He saved us from hell, from the penalties of sin, which is death. The wages of sin is death. He saved us from that, but he hates sin and we are to hate sin as well. But the whole point really is to follow after him because his spirit will lead you and guide you forever. If you would just listen to him. So let him talk to you and talk to him and develop a relationship with him. And I would, I would suggest you do it immediately if you haven't started because things are looking very dangerous in this world, but the restrainer is still holding back what the enemy it cannot wait to do. And he's going to do it very soon. And I really believe that it's going to start when 2023 starts on March 2323. God bless you all. Until next time, I'll see you in the air first.